In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you record an entire online course using just an iPhone. We're going to do everything with the iPhone. We're going to record ourselves with the iPhone. We're going to set up some cheap lights to make sure that we look good. We're going to use the microphone inside the iPhone. We're going to use a handmade stand to make sure that it's uh, secure. I'm going to show you how to create a stylus so you can use a whiteboarding app to record your lesson. I'm going to show you how you can edit your lessons inside the iPhone using the Photos app and iMovie as well. And finally, we're going to upload the course right from the iPhone to a course hosting platform called Thinkific so you can sell the course and everything with just an iPhone and not even a new iPhone. This is an iPhone 6S. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start by building a stand for our iPhone. All you need is an X-Acto knife, a ruler, bend some cardboard, add a rubber band, and voila, your iPhone stand is ready to go. Let's set the iPhone at eye level. Grab a box or a garbage can and place your phone and stand on top. Sit down and check the iPhone's camera is at eye level. Let's set up some lights. Start with a lamp to light your face. Tape a white piece of paper over it to act as a diffuser. Use another desk lamp behind to create a bit of a rim light. And a light for the wall with a colored sheet protector to add some cool vibes to your set. Okay, let's run a quick test to see how everything looks. One, two, one, two. Hello, my name is Miguel. And in this course, I'm going to teach you how to draw your own grumo. It's going to look beautiful. You're going to be a true artist after taking this course. Let's do it. Let's see how the iPhone image compares to my fancier DSLR camera. Here's an image from my iPhone 6S. And here's an image from my Canon 70D using a Sigma 30 millimeter lens at 1.4 aperture. The iPhone has a tiny lens, which makes everything appear in focus, including the books in the background. Whereas my Canon's 1.4 lens makes the background blurry, which is a more cinematic look. Also, the iPhone's image has more noise than the Canon 70D, which performs better in low light. But it's not too bad, considering you can get an iPhone 6S for around 100 bucks on eBay, which is a lot less than 500 for the Canon 70D, plus another 400 for the Sigma 1.4 lens. Now let's do a quick comparison between the iPhone and a fancier microphone. Here's how the iPhone sounds. This is a lesson recorded with an iPhone 6S and three cheap desk lamps. And here's how the fancier microphone sounds. The sound should be better because I'm using an Audio-Technica shotgun microphone. The iPhone again. This is a lesson recorded with an iPhone 6S. And now the Audio-Technica. The sound should be better because I'm using an Audio-Technica shotgun microphone. The iPhone's microphone picks up a bit more echo than my shotgun mic, but if you soundproof your recording area, it will do a great job as well. Now we're going to build our own stylus to draw our lesson on our phone using a whiteboard app. You'll need a pen, cotton, aluminum foil, tape, and scissors. Remove the tip of the pen, take out the ink reservoir and spring, stuff a small piece of cotton through the tip, screw the tip back on, and cut the excess cotton. If the cotton is dry, the stylus won't work. To fix this, simply add some water to the cotton tip so the current can flow. Now it works, but only if my fingers touch the metallic tip. To be able to place my fingers in a more natural position, I need to tape some aluminum foil around the barrel of the pen. And there you go. Now this homemade stylus works perfectly. Now we can start teaching our lesson right from the iPhone. I'm going to use a free whiteboard app called Easy Teach. And like most whiteboard apps, Easy Teach allows you to record your screen, voice, and even face while you draw your lesson. Before you start drawing, go to settings and set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Then click on the plus button and select open camera to enable the camera. Now you can resize the camera and place it on a corner. Press record to start recording your lesson. Your drawing along with your voice and face will be recorded into a single video file. Tap the pencil icon to select a different color. This grumo is looking really good. Tap the right arrow to add more pages to your lesson. When you're done, press stop and enter a title for your lesson. Tap on the right top menu and click recordings to see your video. You can scrub back and forth to review your lessons. When you're done, click select 
tap on your video, and then click on the down arrow to save it in your Photos app. Now we're going to do some basic editing with the iPhone Photos app. Open the Photos app and select your video. Click Edit and tap on the timeline. Drag the yellow arrows to trim the beginning and end of your video. When you're done, click Done and then click Save Video. Trimming video is all you can do with photos, so we'll use iMovie for more advanced editing features. All right, so let's use iMovie. Tap on iMovie to launch it, and then click on Create Project, select Movie, and now select the files that make up your lesson. Tap on Create Movie, and now you'll see all those three files have been added, but the intro has been added to the end, so we can drag and move it to the front of the lesson. Now we can trim. Hello, my name is Miguel, and in this course I'm going to teach you how to draw. We can trim it until it looks great, and we can do the same thing with the outro. And we can also change transitions. If you click on the transition, you can select from several ones. We're going to go from the dissolve to a hard cut. Now you can press play and review the cut and see the rest of the video. And that's it. You just learned how to draw your own grumo. Now you can boast among your friends because you've become a true artist. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to add titles in iMovie. Select the clip where you want to add the title, then click T for text. Select the type of title. I'm going to use lower third titles. And now I can type my name and position. And I can play it back to see how it looks. You're going to be a true artist after taking this course. Let's do it. On iMovie, you can also add a soundtrack. Just click on the plus button, scroll down, click on audio, and then select soundtracks. And there are many different options. Tap on any to preview them. and click the plus button to add it to your timeline. You can tap on the soundtrack to adjust the volume. How to draw your own room. It's going to look beautiful. If you don't want music over the entire lesson, just drag the yellow handle and put it wherever you want the music to stop. And in this course, I'm going to teach you how to draw your own room. When you're done editing, click the done button, then click the share button and scroll down and click Save Video and select which format, 720p, and it will export and you're done. Great, let's upload your course to Thinkific. Click on the plus button, select a blank course, enter a title for your course, draw a grumo, click Create Course, and now, we can upload our lessons. We only have one lesson. We're going to select it from our photo library. We've already edited our lessons with iMovie. Now it's going to upload. It takes a little bit of time and it's uploaded. We can go and review it under our first chapter here and we can play it back. It's going to take a little bit of time to process. Now it's being processed. Play it back. Great, the final step is to publish your course. On the top menu, find the tab that says pricing. Let's give it a price. You can either make it free or charge a one-time payment. We're going to enter $19.99. And we're going to click done, then scroll back up, click on save. Fantastic, now we can start charging money for our amazing course. Now we're going to click on the publish tab Scroll down, click Publish, go up, and are you ready? Drum roll! Congrats, your course has been published. Now you can go to your page on Thinkific and check your course to see how it looks like. Obviously, you can customize the landing page and add more pictures and details, but this is just a simple test. If you want to learn how to use Thinkific in more detail, just check the description for a link to a full tutorial on Thinkific. And that's it. How did you like it? 
now you can create an online course using just an iPhone. If you want to see more videos on course creation and helping you become an amazing online teacher, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye bye. My name is Joe Smith and I'm going to teach you how to chew on a pen. Bye bye.